Okay, so tell me, what is the perfect day of a slow family? <laughs> um, well, I think probably uh, rising late. Uh, I think sleep's a good thing to start off the day with a good night's sleep. Uh, certainly for my family, I, a big part of our family life, slow life, is food. So we will maybe go to a farmer's market and choose food and then come back and cook it together and wow. have a meal mm -hmm. at the same time um, all around the table with the phone switched off. Oh, uh, <laughs> so I think, I think food is a very important way to... But we also play games together and we still, even though my children are older now, they're 13 and 16, we still read together and so on. So words, language, food, all of these very simple and, and often not very expensive things are at the core of a slow family life, I think taking the time to be together. Mm -hmm. And uh, what about your childhood? Because now you are living a specific mm. kind of life. And what about your childhood? Could you just tell us, um, on the scale of one to 100 being 100 the top, mm -hmm. um, uh, the pressure scale, what was your childhood on the pressure scale? Well, I don't think of my childhood as being very pressured at all. My parents mm -hmm. definitely parented with a light touch. I mean, they encouraged me and they wanted me to be the best that I could be but I never felt that they had set a certain standard or a certain vision for what I had to be and then I had to do everything I could to become that I, I really felt like I was developing my own self and the pressure that was on me was coming from me because I wanted to be the best that I could be so it, I think that's very different where the pressure comes from if the pressure is coming from you then it's a lot more healthy than if it's coming externally from either uh, the society or the school or, or often parents um, so I think the, I would say if you want a number, my pressure was maybe 25. I don't know. I don't feel if it was a pressured childhood. I had a lot of free time to play, to get bored, to be a child. I look back on my childhood with great fondness. And if you had to, to tell a parent how to become a, a, a slow parent, what would you say? What would be the steps to mm. become a slow parent? Uh, I, think the, I think the first way to become a slow parent... <laughs> Is, is you have to slow yourself down, or at least start trying yes. to slow yourself mm -hmm. down first. That old Gandhi idea of being the change mm -hmm. you want to see in the world. Uh, so you've got to try and find ways to slow yourself down. So you might uh, do look at your schedule and choose one thing that you're just not going to do. You're going to drop it to leave more time in your schedule. If you're somebody who's constantly looking at your phone, then you just use that little orange or red button that says off on it mm -hmm. and turn it off some of the time so that you can have moments when you're not distracted and not overstimulated. So you create a kind of slowness in yourself, and then you can go to your child and say, okay, let's bake a cake, let's go for a walk, let's make a puzzle, let's read a story, and you've arrived with a slow spirit that then infuses the child, and I think that's a starting point. It's, okay. it's, it's not the end. <laughs> Yeah, of course. But it's it's, it's a, a start. It's yeah. It's it's a it's it's a process. And could you tell us about your aha moments, mm -hmm. uh, your last aha moment? With which one do you mean by that? Uh, the, uh, for instance, uh, it was on the airport when you have found uh, one minute fairy table. Oh right, yes. Instance. Well, that was my big aha moment. Is that I found myself just so fast when it came to read bedtime stories to my mm -hmm. son, and I was skipping lines, paragraphs, entire pages, and we were always fighting because my son, like every four-year-old, knew the stories inside out, so he would, you know, he, we were reading Snow White and I had three dwarves in Snow White, and we were just, it was just ridiculous, and then I caught myself thinking that it was a good idea to buy a book I'd heard about called The One Minute Bedtime Story, so Snow White and all those great tales turned into 60 second mm -hmm. sound bites, and that was when the light bulb went on over my head and I suddenly thought, whoa, I've just lost my mind here, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm racing through my ch my son's childhood rather than actually living it and that was the, the wake up call that was the aha moment that, that turned everything around for me okay so I wish you lots of aha moments coming and thank you for being with us here in Katowice thank you I've thank enjoyed you. it immensely thanks <laughs>